I'm going to show you how to sign documents using Microsoft Office 2016. So let's say you need to sign a document for your work. Adding an image of your signature is completely optional. I've already created a PNG file with my signature in it. And you can see that right here. I am boss. So the scenario that I'm going with here is I'm the big boss man of my cool company and I need my employees to fill out timesheets. And the way these timesheets are going to work is the employee is going to fill in his hours, the employee is then going to sign the document and send it back to me, and then I'm going to sign it too as the boss after I approve his hours. So the first step is going to be to set up the document. I've already got this timesheet signatures file set up here. We've got fields for your company name, employee name, we're doing a monthly hour thing here so we'll put the month there and then we got a line for the employee signature and then a line for the supervisor signature so let's just fill in some information here that my cool company and I type horribly employees name and for the month now we need to add signature lines. In Excel 2016, you want to go to the Insert tab. Up in the ribbon, look for text, and then Signature Line, Microsoft Office Signature Line. So this is the signature line for the employee, so I'll put his name. We'll put his email address there. And we'll go ahead and allow them to add comments in the Sign dialog. Alright, let's make this row a little taller just so it looks nicer. Alright, now we also want to add a signature line for the boss. It's pretty much the same thing. And let's give ourselves a title. Alright, we'll make that one taller just so the document doesn't look nasty. Alright, so our document is pretty much ready to send off to our employee. I'm going to save this as a different file name. And what I'm going to do is instead of signatures in the file name, we'll put Freddy's name. Okay, now we're going to email the timesheet to Freddy and wait for him to send it back. So once the employee has the timesheet, all they need to do is fill in their hours for each day. and sign it. Alright, now Freddy needs to email the timesheet back. Before you do that, it's not a bad idea to rename the file. We'll just add signed to the end of the file name and Freddie will email it back to Big Boss Man. Okay so we got our timesheet back from Freddie. Let's open that up. Okay so I look over Freddie's hours. His hours look good. All we need to do is sign it. So just right click the signature, click sign. You need a digital ID. Just click on OK. In this case, it's going to open in Microsoft Edge browser, and that's a problem. I've used Komodo in the past for signatures without a problem, so that's what we'll do here. And the free email certificate from Komodo should be fine. And as you can see, since we're in Microsoft Edge, this browser cannot use any of the key generation mechanisms. So we'll have to use a different browser. So copy that URL and we'll open Firefox because I know this is going to work in Firefox. Paste the URL from Edge and we need to fill in our details to get our key. And we do not want to opt into the newsletter. Revocation password, you'll want to put that in just in case you need to revoke your certificate for any reason. accept the terms and click next now we just need to wait for our email to arrive with our certificate 
All right, we've got our email with our certificate link. So just click the link. Your personal certificate has been installed. You should keep a backup copy of this certificate. And again, make sure you're using Firefox for this. All right, now we're going to make a backup copy of that key. Just go into Options, and you want to go to Advanced, then the Certificates tab, and View Certificates. And once you've got the Certificate Manager open, go to Your Certificates. Click on your certificate that you just got from Komodo, then click Backup All. And I'm going to save this in my documents in a folder that I've already made called My Certs. And we'll just name this file Big Boss Man. Be sure to pick a password that you'll be able to remember for this. And the reason that we've made this backup is because we need to install it in order for Microsoft Office to be able to use it. So navigate to where you saved your file and just double click on it. Just follow the steps in the wizard, put in your password. Okay, now you have your certificate installed. So let's go back to the timesheet that Freddy filled out, signed, and emailed back to us and open that. Now, my employee Freddy has filled out his hours. His hours look good and legit to me, so I'm going to sign this document. If you want to include your signature in the file, you'll need to insert that picture. So I'll just open my signature file here, and we'll sign it. And now that we've got two signatures in the file, we can go ahead and rename it. I'll just put May 2016 at the end of this one. And you can see we've got still got the file with two signatures. No edits can be made to this file without invalidating the signatures. So our document is all cool and secure. If you need to have more than two signatures in your document, you can basically follow the same steps as I showed here for setting it up. Just keep in mind that the person who creates the file should be the last one to sign the file. I hope this video helped you.